What's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how to install a coil relocation and motor control arm brackets. I'm going to show you the uh, way I put all my measurements, how I kept everything square, tacked it up, welded it, um, start to finish. And let's get to it. Ten Soldiers has a um, diagram online. I didn't use it. I went a little different. Um, the reason for that is I went a little wider from inside of my lower control arm brackets because when I originally gusseted this front end, the uh, I didn't realize that I didn't know what brackets I was going to buy and see how they kind of they would have hit or they did hit. I had to trim them off. Um, but anyways. First thing you got to do is obviously cut the factory brackets off. I've already did that. And next is figure out where. You know, let me let me say something too. You need to get these as smooth and make sure when you're cutting your factory brackets off, don't don't dig into your tube anywhere. I mean that's probably the hardest thing. Just go long, soft strokes with it. And I use a tiger pole, um, or a flat disc, some people call them, but uh. Just use long strokes, and that's pretty much the only way you make sure you don't have low spots in your tubing. Ten soldiers, I recommend putting the brackets about eight, I think they said eight and five eighths inches to the inside off the center housing, or a 33 and three quarter overall width. Um, I'm gonna do mine a little different, like I said, because of my gussets. But uh, what I did, I pulled nine inches off the center housing. I mean, a, a few spots, marked it, and then taped it. All right, I've seen a couple other guys do this, and everyone that I've watched, um, they have their rear end right side up, and I flip mine upside down because I'm not having to fight gravity the whole time trying to hold these brackets up, put a tack on them, and just sit up this, set my angle on them, make sure they're right, left to right, off center, and uh, throw a tag on it. Um, I'm gonna use my digital angle finder. You get these off of like Amazon. 25, 30 bucks, just to climb. All right, zero it up. All right. All right, I'm gonna throw a tag on this thing.
you how to get the uh, coilover brackets squared up. Alright, I'm going to put them um, 25 inches uh, from inside to inside. And um, I'm going to do the same thing I did on the uh, lower control arms. Now I got both of them welded up. I didn't do the anti roll bar mount. It works off the, uh, on these particular brackets, they work off the coilover mount. I just run a bolt through it, washers and spacers. Um, it's a little wider than the heim joint on the anti roll bar, but if I ever switch anti roll bars in the future, I can shim it, lift her out with washers and get my, get the bar straight up and down on the core with it. Um, get these things tacked up and weld them up, weld them in. All right, guys, I got this rear end wrapped up. Um, I'm really happy with how it came out. I got to get this thing off the powder coat. And uh, I was going to give you a little tip. Anytime you ever weld anything to the center housing, make sure you use a 309 rod and preheat the center housing. That cast material is real bad about cracking through your weld when it, uh, well, when it cools down. And also watch my other video, and I'll explain how I straightened it out with that jig. Anyways, I'm... Like I said, I'm pretty happy with it, proud of it. If you guys got any questions, um, leave them in the comment section, and hopefully I'll be making a pass in the sand in a couple weeks.